Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You're a credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was gonna be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission gonna be bigger than we thought, too? <laughs> Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's going to happen. You're going to kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Shepard, that was rough. Glad everyone got out of there. Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready. About time. About freaking time. And if the Reapers mess with anything I left behind, I'm gonna be so pissed. See you topside, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. on the private messages terminal. How are you holding up, Liara? Nervous. Frightened. Anxious to go, but glad I'm here, and I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment three times. Seven times, Dr. Tassoni. Stop me if I try for eight. The elusive man thinks he's ready for us. Let's not keep him waiting. Shepard, we were just saying goodbye. And making friendly wagers. Optimistic wagers, in your case. A Turian military operative competing with a Corian mechanic, and I'm the optimistic one. Do you remember Ilos? 
Yes, it was filled with geth, which tilted the odds in your favor. Excuses, excuses. I doubt you'll be hacking any synthetics this time. I still have the shotgun. I'll be sure to let a few Reaper forces get close enough for you to use it. Thanks. Of course, if they get past me, they'll be right on top of you. That's what the armor's for. You two have been with me longer than most. You believed in me when nobody else did. Thanks. We'll finish this the way we started it. Together. Damn right. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. Uh, if only my imagination was that good. Good luck with the assault. Wish I was joining you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Fine. Then I wish I could shoot better. Then, I wish I was joining you. Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. The Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Commander, it's been such an honor to be a part of the team. Likewise, Gabby. Good luck, and be careful, okay? Yes, ma'am. Commander, the Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give them hell, sir. Good to see you, Commander. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Leng must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm gonna make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. Ready when you are. Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? 
Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, S.H.I.E.L.D. fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Fleet's reporting. Quarian fleets accounted for and ready. 
Ghent fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Advanced teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Sorry, Shepard. I know it isn't easy. I barely even recognize it. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! Damn it! Status! That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. On foot? That'll be a challenge. That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. With you, Shepard. <laughs>
Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move.
its throat. out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Amor can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear.
set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. team have a recommendation. Affirmative. Advise delaying next wave of hammer. Damn. We'll get murdered out there. We don't have a choice. Negative on that delay. We'll advise command of the situation, but hammer proceeds as planned. Over. Acknowledged. We have work from the other outposts. someone you'd like to reach? Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now. It gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's gut the bastards. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't, it helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. 
there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? Depends on whether you got the crucible good to go. Oh, it's ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're way south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bringing a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, Everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. <sighs> Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. 
That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? <laughs> huh. Huh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No. I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard... Forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchange them sometimes, with their friends, or the people they respect. It can also be a way to say farewell. I'd be honored. Close your eyes.
for everything. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. What's his condition? Try to stay calm. I'm just a civilian. We're out of Medidale, and your surgeon got killed by a reaper. I don't know how to do this. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. How? Do you have any towels or bandages? No, nothing. I'll wait for the under a bombed out highway. Uh, then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and... Leave into strips. You're going to make a tourniquet. happens today. You did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Makara sent her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. This is a Solarian Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> No pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard. The faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean? It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. 
there is no more left to say. Here, this shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were their conqueror. this zone. We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. Wherever you go, I'm with you. And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Do you remember what we said on Rannoch, just before you took down that Reaper? You said, I love you. And you said, Kila Salai. I want more time. I know. Whatever happens. I know. I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route, but the bulk of hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. 
Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Who oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart, look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them.
with golf. All companies prep Fennex missiles. Be ready, people. How are we supposed to take that thing down? We wait for it to get close. Hide it with everything we've got. Our guidance systems are buggered. Roger that. Our engineers are on it. Gone. They're headed your way. 
sorry, sir. Hang in there, soldier. Heads up, we've got more incoming. Watch our left flank.
Shepard! Over here! Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several Sovereign Class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Feels like this fight's always been ours to finish. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it.
Here too. here to be processed. I think I 
have near an exit. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. I just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson! Damn it. Anderson. to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Uh, uh, only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? 
They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! They have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Hmm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson?
do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not sure how to. Citadel was the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? created will always rebel against their creators but we, we found, found a way to stop. to stop that from happening a way to restore order by wiping out organic life no we harvest advanced civilizations leaving the younger ones alone just as we left your people alive the last time you we were here but you killed the rest we help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without, Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. 
and I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines, programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. 
So, the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control, because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Mm. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose.
go. Damn it.
Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child, every civilization, on every world. As we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. still have many challenges ahead of us. We can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future.
Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. 